So a company actually asked me to come in and, and you know, they were having this massive issue, which is they'd done lots of things to uh, improve their NPS, they'd incentivized their folks on the basis of NPS, and what they were observing was this fantastic graph, which was the NPS was going upwards. That seems like fantastic, right? Over time it's going upwards, brilliant. Everything's going fine, uh, you know, it's all hunky-dory, except there's a problem. Sales are actually going generally downwards. <laughs> And you sort of say, well, what's going on? That's what they brought me in to, uh, to, to look at. And the moment I saw this, I said, well, the first thing we need to actually understand if, is if your installed base of customers is actually shrinking or not. And lo and behold, what we observed was the installed base of customers was shrinking. And why was it shrinking? Because customers were defecting. The moment customers start defecting, what happens? The proportion of detractors starts reducing. So you look at that one number metric, which is composed of two different components, proportion of promoters and proportion of detractors, and if the proportion of detractors starts decreasing, your number starts going upwards, which is exactly what you observe here. And so you really need to think a little bit about what that number is. But look, that's, that's not as big a problem as something else, which is I've gone into a lot of companies where they talk about you know, our NPS is going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, going up, going down, going down. And you kind of go, well, what's the point of this? What, what exactly are you trying to do with this tracking, right? Do you actually understand what makes it go up and what makes it go down? And that's called diagnosing. So describing the data is fine, uh, but if you don't <laughs> diagnose it, that's a problem. Uh, you know, a fundamental principle of what we do in marketing analytics, which is we try to diagnose things. So describing is perfectly fine, but if you stop there, you're not really going to be doing much at all. So you need to be able to describe, but you need to be able to diagnose. If you can actually diagnose, then you can actually predict. If you can actually predict, then you can start prescribing what actions management needs to take, as opposed to saying, get your NPS up. Uh, this, is a, this is a problem of the big data world. This is a problem of the small data world, which is managers saying, why don't we just look at our top customers, look at their characteristics. Once we know their characteristics, we can grow by finding customers that look exactly like our top customers, right? This is a very commonly held view, which is let's look at our top customers, look at their characteristics. Once we know their characteristics, we go after other people that look like that and we will grow. This is solving for growth. This is a great solution for growth. The only way in which you can establish causality between the set of characteristics that you are saying drive somebody to be a top customer is to look at top customers and not top customers. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, the data generating process is absolutely critical. If the data generating process is wrong, and is problematic, you are going to get crap at the end of it. Or you are going to actually get a situation where prejudices are being reinforced or biases are being reinforced. This is a case of prejudices being reinforced, but biases could be reinforced. So be very careful in thinking about where your data is going to come from. A few people have broken away and in fact have started thinking very deeply about data about where data come from and how to actually look at data and what to do with the data and where to collect the data from. They're being very, very systematic about these things that these that folks understand that it is not just a matter of getting very large sets of data and running your big tools through them. It is a matter of thinking hard about where your data is coming from. What I would advise as my last words here are in fact Danny Kahneman's words, actually, which are that when it really matters, please slow down. Please slow down a lot. Think about what you're doing as opposed to applying bigger tools, bigger hammers on bigger data. Think about what you're doing. Just slow down, please. That would be really, really smart of you. Thank you very much. <laughs>